Hey everybody, it's Sam back once again and in this review I'm going to be doing a look at an application called Easy Freezer. Now it does require root access so if you don't have root access unfortunately it's not going to be any use to you at the moment. Um, the reason why I like this is instead of uninstalling applications that could possibly maybe break the phone you can freeze them and they're still there but they're just not using up the memory on the phone so it basically makes it a little bit more zippier etc. So what I'm going to show you first of all is obviously I've got the game hub on there. This is just to show you a quick demo of that in just a moment. So the application I'm going to go to as I say is called Easy Freezer. So what I'll do is go through some of them what I've actually frozen on the phone at the moment. So I've done the AP Mobile and the BBC iPlayer because I don't particularly use either of them. So I'd rather have the space back myself. I've also done The Kobo, which thinks the um, the book book reader, I believe. I've taken off all this all hub music hub. I didn't use in weather because I don't I don't use it. So why use my space there? <laughs> I also did the readers hub, as I said, sunk some apps because and I don't like the actual application. It's no problem having it on there. Social hub. Um, don't uninstall, don't actually freeze this social hub, just the normal one. If you do this one, you will not be able to use the built-in email client. Um, so it's not recommended to do this one, just the top social hub if you are going to be doing this. Obviously Samsung suggests, pointless. And we've got Yahoo Finance and also the Zinio reader. Um, again, I don't, I'm not going to use them ever, so why keep them on the phone? So it doesn't actually delete them off the phone, what it does is it freezes them, hence the name Easy Freezer. And what you can do is you can basically, instead of breaking the phone, if you want to install an application the phone needs it, you've got potential to possibly kind of bugger the phone up. So basically instead of doing that you can just freeze them instead, which I'll show you with the Games Hub. So as you can see, the Games Hub, which is 502, 572k, so I can uninstall or I can freeze. Now, you can't actually uninstall this directly, so I'll freeze it instead. It's now frozen, so it has been frozen. So basically what will happen is once you restart the phone, that will disappear out of the actual the, um, applications. So as you can see on these ones here, um, I used to have the folder there that was for the hubs. I got rid of it because all the hubs are being removed. I put the hub back on just to show you that it's obviously you can freeze it. Again, once you restart the phone, it completely just disappears out of the actual applications list, which I personally think is cool because you can take out things you don't particularly want to be there. So let's say you don't like the accu with the actual widget itself, you can freeze it and it just pretty much restart the phone and you won't get it. So let's say I don't want the little Android hints and tips guy as well. I can find him. There he is, home screen tips. So I'll freeze him. So what I'll do now is I'll just show you that it is actually still there as the widget, just for now. Just there he is. Um, let's say I don't want some of these as well, then I can obviously always remove, always remove those. But as that's the little Android do there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset the phone and then you'll be able to see that he will disappear. So I'll cut back once the phone's been fully reset. So we're fully loaded back up now, so what I'm going to show you is that in the applications we no longer have the games hub anymore to go through them it's no longer on there at all so that makes clears a bit of space up there for us and we should also see no more little android dude so it's something I don't particularly we're ever going to use with the home screen tips so, I got rid of it. Why not? <laughs> it's just a nice little, you know, it's a nice way to actually clean up, you know, clean up some of the phone so you don't have to have everything, you know, on the phone like that. So, once again, it's Easy Freezer. And basically, obviously, the Easy System applications, so these are the ones that come on the phone. At the moment, I've froze 13 and I'm saving 4.36 megabytes. Um, so, it may not be, some people might be thinking that's not a lot. I think it's pretty cool and I like it. So, 
that's just been my look at the application called Easy Freezer. Uh, once again, it's in the Android market for 99 pence, which is probably about $1.30 at the moment. Um, and if you've got a rooted phone, it's something I would recommend. So that's been my quick look at Easy Freezer. Um, once again, the link will be down below. If you did like the video, don't forget to give it a quick like and also subscribe. It's free. And I shall talk to you in my next video. Bye.